Hey everyone, if you want to make your own podcast but you don't know where to begin, Spotify for Podcasters makes it super easy. They've got everything in one place, it's totally free, and you can make money while doing it. Here's how it works. Spotify for Podcasters lets you record and edit podcasts right from your phone or computer, so no matter what your setup is like, you can start doing it today. Then you can distribute your podcast to Spotify and pretty much everywhere else podcasts are heard. Video podcasts are also supported, and you can even conduct polls and Q&As. With Spotify for Podcasters, you can earn money in a variety of ways, including ads and podcast subscriptions. And best of all, the platform is totally free. No catch, totally free. When I wanted to start my own podcast, I did not know where to begin, and I didn't think it was even possible. And Spotify for Podcasters made it happen. They made it easy. They made it quick. And I am doing something that I love. What more can I ask for? So if you're interested in starting your own show, you can do it. And I highly recommend you give this a try. Download the Spotify for Podcasters app or go to www.spotify.com slash podcasters to get started. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Everything Kratom, the podcast about anything and everything Kratom Great to have you with us on this Tuesday morning I can't believe that we are on episode 48 So it's really neat because uh, the first season We ended up stopping that one after 50 episodes Kind of arbitrarily, but that's just kind of It felt right to me So here we are, season 2, almost over couple more episodes left and then into season three. Very exciting stuff and glad to have you along for the ride. Okay, so what I want to talk about today, another somewhat brief episode, but um, I found this article on traveling with Kratom and there aren't many articles written about this. I haven't found too much content about it, but I did do an episode on traveling with Kratom a while back And that one was really focused on my own personal experiences with traveling with Kratom and kind of like what I would recommend if you're going to do it, um, what, you know, form of traveling, whether it be train, car, you know, um, I don't think I covered bus, but maybe bus, um, plane, anything like that. And, uh, and the sort of tips or tricks that I use when I'm doing it. And also like just in my experience, what has worked and what hasn't. So I've done one episode on traveling, but I'm doing a take two here. And the reason being is because there's three things that I didn't cover in that first travel episode that this article seems to, you know, pull out. And I and I hadn't really thought about these things before. So um, so I thought that it'd be good. It's like a little add on to that traveling episode to do a take two. And so there are three points that I found um, that I didn't cover the last time. This is from an article in Asia Pacific Travel Daily News, which I've never really, you know, checked out before. Um, but but they have like eight points that they say is important when you're going to be traveling with Kratom uh, to take into account and to keep in mind. And most of the points I kind of covered more or less in my travel episode. But here are the three things that I definitely did not think about at the time. So first thing it says, Packing of the product. If you carry such a product from one place to another, you have to be pretty sure about the product's packaging. This product is very reactive with the environment and accordingly can produce different effects in different circumstances. So that is really interesting to me. I hadn't thought about it. I definitely didn't cover that in the last episode that I did on traveling. Kratom interacts with its environment. And if you're going to be traveling... Uh, it's going to be exposed to different environments unless it's in a vacuum seal. And that might mean, who knows, you know, maybe altitude. Maybe altitude affects Kratom. Maybe the the change in press, pressurization in the cabin, you know, like maybe different things like that. Maybe um, the x-ray machines. I don't know, you know, like th- this is getting into stuff that I obviously know nothing about. But it's a fair point. It's something that I've never thought about before. Um, keep your kratom vacuum sealed and it's you know it kind of goes without saying but but in a way i think that it's still worth bringing up because i had never thought about that you you are bringing your kratom with you you're traveling to a different place maybe even a different country who knows you definitely want to keep that vacuum sealed so that's a good point and i thought that that was worth saying 
All right, the second thing it says is pure versus adulterated. It says, many countries indulge in third-party transactions to earn illegal profit, to import and export the adulterated version of this product. Such activities have to be prevented, and at the same point of time, an attempt has to be made that while traveling, the purity of such products are checked at the airport itself after making the proper amount of disclosures concerning the type and quantity which is being traveled from one place to another, along with the traveler. (laughs) So... It's interesting. I think that um, this is another article that's been translated in an interesting way. I always, I always love seeing that when like an article is obviously written in another language and then it's translated to English, how it kind of comes out a little funky. <laughs> it's kind of fun, you know? Um, it's cool how language differs so much so that even a direct translation, actually a direct translation is more often than not going to sound funky because, you know, languages aren't directly translatable in a lot of ways. Anyway, that's a whole other tangent that I could go down that I think is interesting, but it has nothing to do with Kratom. So back to the matter at hand. I think it's interesting that they're bringing this up too. Pure versus adulterated. And it's it's interesting because it, it's yet another thing I've, I hadn't thought about before when traveling, but as Kratom becomes more mainstream, which I do think it will, I do think Kratom will become more mainstream. People are going to be traveling with it. It's going to, you know, come up. It's something that's not necessarily easily recognizable to the everyday, you know, (laughs) TSA checker uh, at an airport necessarily, but maybe one day it will be. And in that case, you know, all these KCPAs, all these Kratom Consumer Protection Acts, they're all trying to, among other things, get rid of these contaminants, get rid of these, you know, um, these synthetic drugs that are being lined with kratom or you know something that's supposed to be kratom but it isn't that's one of the reasons why these kcpas are so important and at the same time you see that synthetic opioids are kind of taking over the opioid crisis and it's kind of becoming the main problem more people are dying of fentanyl than they are of heroin now uh which is you know very very different than as was the case you know let's say 10 years ago or or 15 years ago so um the world is changing and it's interesting to think about a future where going to the airport with Kratom, you know, you're going to have to make sure that the Kratom is Kratom and not, you know, some sort of other substance or and not containing synthetic drugs, you know, that's lined in the Kratom or something like that. Um, it, you know, it's it one might listen to this and say, oh, you know, that's never going to happen. But you never know. You never know. And especially now that we have different state guidelines, you know, like now states are cracking down on on having sorts of, you know, those sorts of things in Kratom. Wherever you have a KCPA passed, uh, this is on their radar. And, and as time goes on and as Kratom becomes more mainstream, maybe this is something that you're going to have to think about is, you know, having a proper test to be able to show, hey, this is, you know, really is Kratom and there are no uh, synthetic chemicals, drugs, involved. So I thought that was an interesting point that they were bringing up. The last thing that they mentioned that I thought was interesting and that I didn't mention in my travel episode was airplane guidelines. And they talk about how in addition to the differences in laws when you go to a different state or a different government or a different country or whatever, you know, you might also have different regulations or laws in place with different airlines and different airline authorities might be, you know, having different uh, guidelines when it comes to what you can bring on an airplane and what you can't. And that, I think, is another thing that I really wasn't thinking about because the way that I think about it, I always thought of it as like a general security check, right? Like either you can bring Kratom onto an airplane or you can't, and it depends on the security of that country and the rules there, right? Like that's what I always thought of. But I hadn't really thought of the fact that maybe airlines differ when it comes to this sort of thing. And I I need to look into airline rules more because I've never really bothered. I've always just wanted to travel on the safe side. So I like don't bring something if I know that you can't bring it generally. But um, it's a worthwhile thing to look into, especially if you're you're making a big move and you have Kratom that you're bringing with you. Um, It's important to know that the airline itself is like okay with you bringing, you know, generally like, you know, plant plant matter in a bag right (laughs) like i don't i don't really know i'm very very ignorant on this one so 
cheers to my ignorant card for the day right now i i don't under i don't know how different airlines you know how how much their rules differ when it comes to what you can bring on their planes uh but that's something else to think about so you know why the heck not let's mention that here too so it was it was a strange article to find for sure (laughs) but but one that brought up a few points that i definitely did not think about and did not cover in my other travel episodes so definitely wanted to share it with you and this is traveling with kratom take two so hope that this was interesting uh if you have any tips or tricks on traveling with kratom uh, i've found out that i can actually include a question in this episode, uh, I think you can look under the description and I've put a question there that you can answer. Um, and if you answer it, I'll be able to share your answers with, uh, you know, through the podcast, which is really neat. Um, I think you have to be on Spotify, but I'm not sure. So if you are on Spotify, check that out and, and you know, leave a comment, Le- leave a leave an answer for me to check out because I'm always trying to learn. All right. Thanks so much, everybody. Hope you are all having a great week and we will be back tomorrow. Take it easy. Bye-bye.